My name is Amanda Cowell and I am majoring in mathematics. When I was in high school, um, I had just taken an Algebra 2 class and I had a really great professor and I was really into it and I loved the math. Um, most of my friends kind of were put off by that, but I had asked my parents for the textbook for Christmas and they laughed at me saying it was too expensive and they weren't going to buy it. And so um, my best friend, who actually I, I live with now, she's still my best friend, she ended up buying me the workbook that went along with it because I was a little cheaper. And you know, she sort of <laughs> um, encouraged math that way. And so I think along the way, it's been those little things, uh, those little like lifelines that people have given me, like, hey, don't give up on this, that have really helped me get to being in math. One of the professors I've taken the most um, is Dr. DeBush. And uh, I'm actually doing an independent study with her in algebraic topology. And so topology is my favorite subject. <laughs> I get really excited when I start to talk about topology. <laughs> um, because, so anyone who has a math background is probably going to laugh at my description. But if I'm talking to most people and they ask what I do, I say I like to do topology. It's like geometry, but everything's made of rubber. And you're like, wait, what? <laughs> like, how the heck does that even work? And so this past summer, I did research in, in knot theory, and it's exactly what it sounds like. It's where you take, um, like, imagine you take a shoelace and you tie the ends together, and you get this, scramble it up, and you get, like, this weird knot. Well, I can study this in a very mathematical way. And I look at math, I'm, I, I'm always remind myself, okay, um, complex numbers, that when people started studying, mathematicians started studying complex numbers, Everyone else around them was like, what are you doing? This is a made up thing. There's no practical use. And they just sort of like, was like, yeah, whatever. But now we wouldn't have computers and all that sort of thing if we didn't have complex numbers. And so it, it's become a very important part of our society that we have complex numbers, even though it, was, it seemed very useless at the beginning. And so the way I look at mathematics is we come up with all these crazy things that may immediately not seem useful, but in the future I can, I can definitely see parts of them being used for other things.